Do you remember your first coffee? Because I do not. But I do know that I hated it. In fact, I still hate it. That's why I drink tea, not coffee. Recently, however, I have decided to give coffee another go, primarily because of the higher caffeine content, which I feel like I need these days, but also because I am attracted to the coffee culture. I recently moved to a new town, which is perhaps a story for another day, but in this town there is a cafe that only serves coffee. It was this that largely encouraged the interest in learning how to like coffee, simply because I want to frequent the cafe and order something that I actually enjoy. So I decided that whenever I am out of the house, I will forego my usual tea orders at Tim Hortons, Starbucks, McDonald's, a restaurant or elsewhere and try one of the coffee offerings. Unfortunately, as I quickly discovered, I still hate it. And the only way I can make it even remotely enjoyable is by having a style that is high in sugar and milk, such as a cafe mocha. Now, I realized that this wasn't the best way to learn how to like coffee, and it certainly wasn't the best way on my wallet or health. So, I am now trying another approach. I am making coffee at home. I bought all the necessary paraphernalia to make pour over coffee, including a manual coffee grinder, which for me, and as crazy as this may sound for those in constant search of convenience, but grinding my own coffee beans is the most attractive feature of making coffee at home. I find it therapeutic. Unfortunately, I did make a tragic mistake and purchased a dark roast coffee, which I cannot stand. When deciding on which coffee to get, I obviously did not do my research well because if I had, I would have opted for a light roast for the more subtle flavors, which is more in line with drinking tea. Have you ever worked with people who smoke cigarettes? If you have, you probably know all about the smoke break. You know, this is a time when smokers congregate in a designated smoking area outdoors where typically there is a place to put out and discard the used cigarettes. Sometimes this disposal area is a simple metal can with sand or water that the smokers push or toss their cigarette butts into. This is what I thought about when I made my first coffee at home because the first sip tasted like what I would imagine a gulp of that cigarette disposal water tastes like. But I have made some adjustments since then such as using a coarser grind for a weaker coffee flavor, and it is slowly becoming more manageable. I won't say that I like coffee yet, but I am learning to enjoy the process of making it and experimenting with the flavors. Clearly, I need to try a light roast next time, but I am happy that I went with the dark roast first as it has helped demonstrate how small adjustments in the making procedures can impact the outcome of the coffee. My favorite way to prepare the coffee so far is by making a sort of pour over style latte, which you're seeing in this video. Clearly I have a long way to go before I can say I enjoy coffee, but I can say that I am enjoying the adventure of learning to like coffee. And that's what I like to make videos on adventures, whether it be an adventure in a video game, an adventure in a book, or a personal adventure to learn how to like coffee.